right, before we actually crack on and start pricing work, we need to have the very important conversation about margin, how much money you're actually gonna make and stick on the job. So at this point of the training, I really need you to be crystal clear on what margin your company is going to actually operate at going forward. And this decision is all yours. And it's a very, very important one. Um, I can give you my thoughts based on my experience and working with all different trades and businesses from like tilers, electricians, scaffolders, decorators, and everything in between. You know, I've, I've worked with every trade and I've done a lot of pricing and working in a main contractor's environment. So it can be anything, you know, from people doing 100K a year to doing 10 million pound a year. My view is very balanced on what margins I think that you should sort of work to. But what I will say is do not treat any extra percentage point as, as nothing. Like it's very easy to think, oh, 21% or 20% is the same, and it's not. An extra percent of margin adds up to be a lot of money at the end of the year. So do not treat these numbers lightly. Your profit margin is what is going to build up the money in your company, in your bank account, and it's what's going to get you the, the life that you want and the, basically the, the money that you want to be able to do what you want with. So treat it with extreme care and caution. Your company margin is such an important, actually probably the most important figure there is, okay? So with that being said, here's my view. Now, profit margins have got to be healthy. Otherwise, there's no point being in business. There's no point doing it. There is no point taking on all of the headache, the stress, the aggro, the problems, and, and the general bollocks that comes with it. It just comes out of nowhere sometimes. The margin is what keep things alive, and it allows investment if you need to go forward with things profit allows you more choices and, and the good kind um and no profit gives you fucking no choice back you in a corner really so it's so important profit is really good it's a very good thing and it was it's what makes it all worthwhile for you and your family so do not fear making money and putting the right level of profit margin on now i would not operate any construction business or any trade business with low margins and by that, I mean anything below sort of 20%. It's just not worth it. And I see people working to 10% and it's just not viable. Now, there is a disclaimer to that. We've previously gone in on certain key jobs at 15 or 17% um, sort of margin. But that's because we wanted to win that particular job because it was the gateway to bigger things in, a, in the environment and the type of client we were dealing with at the time. And that was a strategic move to win the jobs, but that's in jobs, you know, you're talking 300, 500,000, up to a million pounds in value. Now, I assume that the majority of you watching this, that's not gonna to apply to you. So the other thing to consider is that if you're just starting out and you don't have a pipeline of work, you may have to go in slightly lower just to get some work and get the momentum in your business and, and then creep up the margin over time. But it's, it's totally down to you and, and depending on how much work you've got. But as a rule of thumb, you know, most basic types of trades, and don't take offense to this, it's, you know, it's groundwork, carpentry, plastering, decorating, general building and extensions, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. A 20% margin level is the right sort of place that you're gonna to be to still be competitive and, and make good money. And that's a good margin to make, like don't, don't disregard that. 20% is a good, good margin. But then the more bespoke you go and the more custom-made your trade is, or it's a finishing trade, it's really high-end, the more margin you can charge. So for example, if you're a, a custom joinery company or you do like large format tiling with all niches and mitered edges, very bespoke like landscaping or complicated air conditioning systems or heat systems, bespoke windows, doors, you know, that type of stuff, you could be working to a margin between 30 and 40%, maybe even a little bit higher in some cases. So that gives you a view of the playing field. But what I would say is that the profit margin is a, uh, it's a little bit of trial and error as well. And the best indicator of the right margin for you is the amount of work that you're currently winning. So if you're pricing, let's say 10 jobs and you win all 10, you know you can put the margin up. Your prices are very competitive. But if you price 10 and you win none, you know there's something wrong with your pricing or your sales process, but I would say it's probably your pricing. You've always got to be watching the numbers and win rates of the quotes that you do. You don't want to win every quote that you do. That's not right. So have a think about your business, rate yourself on how good you actually are, your level of experience, your customer service and the, you know, the delivery that you offer to someone and then make a decision on what margin you're going to operate going forward based on all of that information put together. So we will start playing with the numbers in the next few videos. 
so that you can actually start pricing work and adding the margin on that you want to earn. But really do take some time to carefully think about what margin do you deserve based on what I've said in this video, but like I say, also based on you and what you can actually offer and deliver.